important too. But I want to stick to this story. So here's what here's what we got. Um, now when I heard about this, I couldn't believe it until I saw the tweet for myself. And it has to do with this woman, Christy Teigen, who is uh, John Legend's wife. Now, when I heard this story, I was so confused because John Legend, cool dude, sweet, down to earth, incredibly talented pianist and singer songwriter. What are you doing with a person as repulsive as this woman appears to be, if you're making comments like this, okay? And that's the thing, man. You want to throw this kind of stuff out here? You want to say this kind of stuff? Your character is on the chopping block, all right? And if you didn't serve that character up sous vide or Julianne or a la mode, then dude, you're getting chopped up. That's like the best, isn't that the, that's the best show Food Network. Actually, Iron Chef was, ah, oh, it's tough. Iron Chef was, dude, Iron Chef's still my jam. It's amazing. Um, but I digress. So here's, here's what she said. Okay. I'm just going to jump straight to it and just, just read it from beginning to end. Okay. Here you go. Listen, I don't want much from Sarah Palin. I just want her to admit partial fault, then shoot herself in the face. Is that wrong? Now, if you heard me read that and you have trouble figuring out what's the problem with that, this podcast might not be for you because we are, the folks listening to this podcast are trying to get some rational thought going here, okay? And, um, and that's, you know, that's why I love doing this because it's, it's kind of a, a mental practice for me to just always try to consider, you know, as many, um, just be as objective as I can and consider as many perspectives as I can whenever I approach like a different topic. Right. And so the thing is with this is we have to, we have to dissect how an adult, a full grown ass adult would provoke someone who may or may not have mental health issues to directly, like not even, not even like going straight into how you should do it. You like, you know, saying, not saying you should cut your wrist or hang yourself or all the other methods of, you know, horrible ways to go and, you know, through suicide. Um, but she's going to directly tell her to shoot her own, shoot herself in the face. And the thing about it is Sarah Palin. Okay. If you don't know, who Sarah Palin is, she was the governor of Alaska, I believe. Um, and she is a conservative, um, and based off of, you know, based off the atmosphere on Twitter, I assume that sh this Christie, wait, oh, it's Chrissy. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure that's commonly confused because her name is actually underneath her handle. It says Christine. So she, she's Christine, but she doesn't go by Christy. She goes by Chrissy. So, all right. So Sarah Palin is a conservative. And I assume that because I don't know uh, this tweet, this is the reason why I said that this was old news probably is because it was, uh, this tweet was on January 8th. So, uh, you know, and the thing is, I'm just now hearing about it, you know, but I already heard about the guy that got canceled on The Bachelor, you know, for like, you know, so completely innocuous reasons compared to this. OK, and I don't want to get into that because it's a separate thing. But you know what I mean? Like, here we are months and months and months and months later. And I'm and I'm just personally finding out about the story. I'm sure maybe others maybe that are just, you know, maybe it hits other other people before it hits me. I don't know. But. I really don't go looking for this shit because it upsets me. But uh, so Sarah Palin apparently did something wrong 
something so horrible that on January 8th, Chrissy j- just couldn't help herself. Didn't even, you know, like whenever you, re- you, you write a, a tweet or an Instagram post or whatever, and like, you know, you, you read over it, you make sure like, oh, did I screw something up? Or did I say something that's going to make somebody upset? You you know, you always have to reach, you know, you always have to include that possibility. And then of course you end up just not posting it at all because, you know, for whatever reason, first of all, you just read it so many times. You're like, I don't even like the way this sounds. Cause like, you know, because it's like hearing your own voice. This is something I've had to get used to with the podcast. Um, and kind of like through singing and songwriting, you know, you get used to hearing your own singing voice. But your talking voice is definitely different. And I've discovered that through podcasting. And it's annoying. It's annoying as shit to hear your own voice. Just like it's kind of annoying to reread your own thing over and over. And being so hypercritical of it, trying to figure out if it's going to upset someone or not. That you just end up just saying, fuck it, I'm just not even going to post this. And you just don't post it. Um, she didn't do that. She didn't read this clearly. She did not reread, read over it one time. She just typed the whole thing out once, press tweet, and that was it. And, um, and the thing is, what's the, the best part about it is I have no fucking clue what Sarah Palin did to provoke her to create a tweet like this, but at the end end of the day, it doesn't matter what Sarah Palin did because I know that it was in no way warranting of a response like then shoot herself in the face. And the whole like, is that wrong? Question mark at the end, like trying to be cute. Like what? So you just, like, you're, are you making a joke? If that's a joke, dude, that's like the darkest void of any punchline joke I've ever heard. You know, like, and I know some, I know I have, I have friends that have lost their lives to this, that have actually done something like this. So I just personally just off of that alone just don't think it's very funny. Now you can make now I'm gonna laugh, like if you can make a joke about suicide, now bear with me, but you know, professional comedians, they can they they can do it. You know, I, I don't know how I'm not a comedian, obviously, and I don't really know how to construct a, a very dark theme or dark concept into humor and make it humorous but you know all the greats that's what they're known for louis ck um uh david tell um you know plenty everyone pretty much this is what they're known for right so it's it's not that it's clearly not that because this is not a joke and and she's not a comedian so wasn't an attempt at a joke. Maybe it's at her attempt at comedy. Because, you know, she also went after, um, I also found this out at the same time. She also went after Demi Lovato. And she criticized her for going to rehab. And if you didn't know, Demi Lovato, also, you know, she has a past with um, mental health issues and uh, specifically drug-related issues, which she went to rehabilitation for perhaps like several times, I believe. And Chrissy Teigen's tweet to her was something about like, will you make the bed for Charlie Sheen or something like that? And again, it's like, I'm not even, it's not even worth me going to look it up and find what, what it was the exact thing, because the context doesn't matter. You're clearly, if you're going after celebrities in like kind of like this bully way, on Twitter, then you you don't have like a real, you don't, there's no, there's no positivity at the end of your message. You're just clearly a bully. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. And I assume she means like Charlie Sheen. Cause he has like a pass of like, you know, mental health, drug rehabilitation. And, you know, if someone's actively seeking to ameliorate those, uh, those conditions, then why are you criticizing them? You know, and you don't know what that person's going through and whether or not they might find that funny or not, you know, and, and I'm not trying to bubble wrap the world. I think that this woman should be able to say whatever she wants, but at the same time, it's like, it's, it doesn't seem like it's a joke. It seems like it's an attack. You know what I mean? 
And if it's her attempt at comedy, like I said, and she really just thinks she's being funny, why are you using these people, what, these people's tragedies as a, 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 at the, at the expense of your attempt at comedy? Like, I mean, am I looking too much into that or what? And then dude, the, is that wrong? Oh, that really just, is that wrong? You tell me, dude. And and the thing about it, at the end of the day, this is what I was saying, sorry. The, at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. I, I have not looked up what Sarah Palin did on January 8th or, you know, any or prior. Because it doesn't matter what Sarah Palin did. Don't tell someone to shoot themselves in the face. Why are we explaining this to full grown adults? This blows my mind. It's a thought I've been having like recurrently, maybe within the past year, like really recently, which is like, and it's, and it's, and it's an exposure of my own naivety and ignorance, but how, like, do you ever, how often are you just so shocked that pe that certain people exist? Like, Like, oh, oh, this guy, uh, so, so this guy's just going to push his, uh, up to the door and then just leave it there. Uh, and now the rest of us have to, so uh, everyone else coming out, we have to put it up for your ass. What the hell dude. How about this? When you're done at your little self checkout or the cash re register. Okay. Put your bags, take those bags out of that buggy. Put them in one hand. With your other hand, drag the cart behind you. Go out the door. Don't drop that cart off in front of that fucking door and make everyone else have to clean up after you like you're 11 years old and we're telling you how to put away your Legos. And you go outside and you put that buggy in the little roundup, the little carousel thing, the corral, the buggy corral. And you, and then you guess your bags never even left your hand. Cause you clearly, you clearly like, dude, the fucking, you, you were so lazy that you brought that cart with your bags in it to the front of the door, took your bags out and left the cart there. Meaning you didn't need the cart to carry the bags. You just being lazy as shit. And we know you litter, dude. We know that those types of people litter. So, so stop doing that. Pick up your Legos and stop throwing cigarette butts on the ground. What, why do you think that cigarette butts are, aren't litter, isn't littering? Like you just flick a cigarette butt and. You think it's just like a banana? It's just like biodegradable? It's just going to go back into the earth? Like, what about all the poly the polycyclic hydrocarbons? You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, where you just, like, come on. Mm -hmm.